A white horse in a snowy field may be easy to miss, but when you see a lipizzan in action, you will never see them the same way. There's no question there's a nobility and something that attracts us as people to horses. Their graceful performance has been compared to figure skating or ballet. This breed survived generations of warfare through Europe. Then a husband and wife brought the horses to America to preserve not just a breed, but a way of life from centuries ago. In the midst of steep cliffs and a harsh climate, beauty emerges at the Lipica estate in a rocky region of Slovenia called Karst, near the Italian border. This is where Charles II of Austria establishes a stud farm in the 16th century. Muscular and athletic, these Spanish horses are bred for war. But innovation brings change. War machines replace horses on the battlefield. And even on the farm, horses are no longer essential for survival. Still, the Lipizzans are more than horses. They are symbols of the relationship between horse and human. Aristocrats and rulers prize them for their carriages and parades. There was a great reverence for the relationship between man and horse on the battleground. Then the courts wanted to show off better times, their beautiful horses, and it all was this great memory and nostalgia from a time that this man and beast were working together for, for the team. Esther Bonanno's grandparents, Temple and Esther Smith, visit Austria in the 1950s and decide they want to bring 20 of these horses back to America. It was something I think that was extremely moving. And I think that happens to a lot of people when they go to these, to different places and you understand another time. I think what's unusual that they did was said, well, we want this, we think this is something we should have back home rather than a postcard. The Lipizzans travel by ship from Germany to New York Harbor in 1958. At that time, the European art of classic dressage is not well known in the U.S. The Smiths purchased property from Lake Forest to the Wisconsin border for their own breeding and training program. But what we're doing here is much more like ballet. We are waiting five to six years before the toe shoes go on. It's a very long process. It starts at four years old, and we have horses in full training here at 22. In 1982, the Smith family opens its doors to let the public see this rare art form. He's really intelligent, and he started to be a little bit distracted, you could say, by the fact that he's on camera, and he knows he's on camera. Like, you, you can see it in him and he was getting a little bit silly sometimes. But that's also what makes him such a good horse, is he has that spark, he has that interest, that energy, you know. Ted Goad has been riding most of his life. He masters the complex rhythms and harmony with the horse. They train together, signals and responses, until they're a team that moves seamlessly in step with confidence. An achievement that's driven by the devotion of the riders and trainers. I've heard it compared to molding clay. You're taking a young horse that knows nothing, and over its career, you're molding it into a beautiful piece of artwork. And what's challenging is you're dealing with another brain, another mind, and some of them are very intelligent and have their own ideas. So you have to work with that constantly, that they're working for you and not against you. The elegant maneuvers are choreographed to classical music. And they've been bred for over 400 years to do what we're doing. But they're basically the same horses that they were working with hundreds of years ago. You can't say that about most breeds.
In the 20th century, the horses are no longer used for war, but they're still at risk. Soldiers sweep through Europe and threaten the white stallions. Near the border of Sylvania and Italy, Lipica isn't a strategic target on the military map, but the horses are a valuable commodity. The Austrians fear the Russians will confiscate the horses for food. In 1943, Mussolini falls and the Germans move in. They load 179 horses onto trucks and transport them by rail 500 miles north to German-occupied Czechoslovakia. Sir, the Spanish riding school is worth saving, not just for Austria, but for the world. The story is told in the 1963 film, The Miracles of the White Stallions. As the Russians move in, men on both sides of the war worry about the fate of these special horses. Get the horses out! Turn them over in the horseway! Austrian Colonel Alois Podarsky runs the Spanish Riding School in Vienna. We have 70 stallions here to care for, to feed and shelter and defend. Our mares have been removed to Hostau in Czechoslovakia. If they're not returned to us, the breed will die. He appeals to U.S. General George Patton for help. They had competed in equestrian events in the 1936 Olympics. The writing school puts on a special performance for Patton. Together, Patton and Podarsky carry out a daring rescue to save the horses. I'd like to see those prisoners liberated before the Russians move in. Colonel Reed might bring the horses along too. No sense letting the Russians have them. Patton gave the go-ahead, get them, and bring them back, and they moved them maybe 25 miles by land to a train and back to their, their homelands. It was quite a feat in a story a lot of people love. After the war, the Lipizzans returned to Austria in 1955 in time for the Smiths' visit. It begins a journey for 20 Lipizzans and for the Smith family. Their horses have performed in six inaugural presidential parades. The Temple Farm is the only one of its kind in America. In each generation, I think there becomes an understanding of what it took to carry on the legacy. I think that appreciation still remains. And I suppose we have a nostalgia in our family that is, uh, matches sort of that of the bigger picture. The mission has not changed. Birth, wean, raise, and train. Once bred for battle, their ancestors galloped through victory and defeat. But the Lipizzans' true legacy is beauty and grace, one that endures through the relationship of man and beast. <laughs>